Hi, I'm Lisa Prather, and welcome to The Voice of Health with our host, Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, where lives are changed every day through the natural approach to health care. Today we're talking about tips for a healthy holiday season. Mm. Very important. Very we're important. in the midst of a holiday season, and we tend to see increased stress. Unfortunately, it's not supposed to be about that, but... Everybody's sick right now. Uh-huh. So, you know, most of my patients are coming in with some kind of virus or something going on. So, mm-hmm. you know, th- this is a, um, a stressful time of the year. Uh, one, we don't have as much sunshine. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're all trying to get used to the new cold weather. It's dark by 4.30. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, all those things do play a big role. The uh, vitamin D level is dropping rapidly in people. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's one thing that people need to be aware of. And then also we have, you know, changes in our behavior. Uh, you know, we're eating more, mm-hmm. uh, partying more, uh, drinking more, and, uh, you know, and probably a lot more stress for mm-hmm. most people, trying to get everything all done. Getting a lot less sleep. And that's, yeah. that's not a good combination for your health. So what do we do to get healthy and yeah, stay healthy? That's what we're going to talk about today. Oh, excellent. So first thing, washing hands. Yes. Washing our hands. Um, let's talk about that. Washing hands often helps prevent spread of germs, correct? Correct. That's that's one of the big things is, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a... It's just very, very easy to spread germs. So if one person, you know, kind of gets sick and they sneeze, Mm -hmm. uh, that sneeze will go about 25 feet. Mm. (laughs) And all it takes is one water droplet in the right place and you're sick. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just being aware of, uh, you know, uh, health standards, Mm -hmm. you know, cover up if you're going to sneeze. Yeah, and that elbow elbow crease. That's right. I just did it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I, I think everybody saw that. <laughs> or heard it. <laughs> right. Um, I mean, over in uh, in Asia, I mean, everybody walks around with one of those masks, mm-hmm. you know, trying to prevent the uh, spread of infection. Now, I don't know if I really want to walk around with one of those, mm-hmm. but, you know, it is something to be aware of. Now's the time that you're going to spread germs, especially if you're in large groups, you know, of people. And uh, one of the easiest ways is that it, it gets on the hands. You rub your eyes or you rub your nose or get in contact with food, and then you can get that virus in your system. Mm-hmm. So just making sure that you have uh, proper sanitation, that you're aware of other people, and uh, trying to avoid, one, catching mm-hmm. infections, and two, also avoid spreading infections. Mm-hmm. And just having that awareness can really help out. Yeah. Next is bundle up to stay dry and warm. Yes. It, it, I love my new winter coat. It goes all the way down to the ankles. <laughs> Ooh, very <laughs> Perfect. good. Perfect. Very good. <laughs> well, you know, if you, if you, the stresses on the body weakens the immune system. Mm-hmm. So the more stresses that you have on your system, and the cold is a definite stress. So staying nice and and warm, I think one of the things that you said several nights that, uh, you know, I'm a little chilled. Yeah. I'm going to take a bath Mm -hmm. and a nice Epsom salt bath. Yes. And that's just a very nice type of thing. Keeping your body uh, as relaxed and as uh, as warm as possible. Mm -hmm. And that really will help out just to avoid the weakening of the immune system. Mm -hmm. When you have that, that cold, I mean, people are... Uh, out there putting up lights on Christmas trees. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you're out shoveling uh, sidewalks. Not uh, yet. Well, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, all those I different types of things. I see it in my future. <laughs> right. So you're seeing uh, people doing all those different types of things and just trying to uh, stay warm, mm-hmm. uh, bundle up, uh, make sure that you uh, aren't getting yourself chilled because uh, it is absolutely true. You get chilled. Mm-hmm. Then that's a sign that your body needs to get warmed up, and the body, uh, the immune system always works better if you're nice and warm. Mm-hmm. I like to be warm. Good. <laughs> I probably take a bath every night, and mm-hmm. they have lavender Epsom salt now. Which oh, is, excellent. Yeah, which is great. Uh, manage stress. Well, that's easier said than done, especially during this time. 
How do we do that, Dr. Prather? Well, I've told several patients that, you know, uh, I can tell that you're a little stressed uh -huh. as I'm checking them. Uh, it's very obvious because you can feel certain muscles go into spasm. And I told them I'm going to write them a script not to get stressed anymore. <laughs> and I expect them to fill it. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, and, of course, they all laugh. But, again, managing stress, knowing what you, you know, finding out ways of, of uh, cutting down on your stress. Mm -hmm. You know, how many people you shop for, uh, you know, what you have to get ready, uh, asking for help, you know, if mm -hmm. things are, are going on. Of course, uh, one of the things that can be real stressful is just uh, family relationships. You know, you're seeing people that you probably haven't seen for a while. Mm -hmm. And just making sure that you try to keep a uh, positive attitude. Uh, even as you're going around from people to people, there is a difference in your immune system if you frown or if you smile. Ah, so tell me more about that. You, they have a, proven that if people practice smiling mm -hmm. on a regular basis, it actually boosts the immune system. And if you're frowning and you are, uh, you know, stressed even on your face, mm -hmm. then that'll actually weaken the immune system. Hmm. So you know, keep a smile on your face. Uh, give people a lot of grace right now. Mm, and yourself. And yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, laugh at yourself and uh, laugh with others. Mm -hmm. You know, we're all human. And not to expect superhuman results just because it's Christmas. But what about the Hallmark Channel? <laughs> <laughs> you mean our lives aren't like the Hallmark Channel? <laughs> no, no. I, no. I, uh, I, I, don't, I don't watch Hallmark Channel. Yeah. Do I? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I, 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 I avoid that. <laughs> but that could be something for some people, kind of a, a stress escape. releaser. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know, and finding those stress releaser, li releasers also right now is yeah. a really good thing. A massage is real important. And we're, we're offering gift certificates here at the Prather Practice. Oh, and excellent. And, you know, I, I don't know what I do without my massages. I get two a month. Mm -hmm. uh, I got one on Monday um, coming off the weekend. And... Just very helpful to decrease stress. That's a really, really uh, excellent type of thing. So, you know, coming in, getting your um, uh, massages mm -hmm. is a really excellent way. A lot of people, a lot of my patients actually even like acupuncture more than uh, massages. Mm -hmm. That they actually have more uh, relaxation with, uh, and people find that funny. With but, uh, you know, that you, can, you can stick yeah. needles in somebody and, and it relaxes you. Uh -huh. But uh, I had um, an uh, inter interesting story with acupuncture. I had a, uh, a, a law student mm -hmm. come in and he was studying for the boards. And he said uh, he had read online that uh, for to help with focus and relaxation to do acupuncture that some people had actually, because he was looking for different types of things. Because a lot of his friends were doing Adderall for uh, concentration, mm -hmm. all those different types of things. Instead of going pharmaceutical or drinking or those types of things, he sat there and said, I want to give acupuncture a try. Instead of drinking? It was drinking, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, alcohol yeah. <laughs> as a relaxation or, or, or drugs uh -huh. or other things. You know, what can I do besides the pharmaceutical route? Mm -hmm. So we went ahead and did the acupuncture, and he hadn't been sleeping very well. Anyway, he fell asleep mm -hmm. during the treatment, got up, and he says, wow, I feel really, really better. Mm -hmm. So uh, he said, you know, that he studied better, he uh, was able to concentrate, and pretty soon I had 10, ac uh, ten law students <laughs> who were taking the boards who uh -huh. were all of a sudden in my office wanting to get acupuncture. Yeah. So, it, you know... Thinking about those different types of things uh, right. can be real helpful. Right. And those gift certificates would be, a, you know, a great idea. Oh, that's a, yeah, a great Christmas present mm -hmm. for people. You know, get their stress down. Well, I was at a friend's um, yesterday, and we were talking about Christmas, and um, she's written a, a book called Compose Your Soul. And she said this year, by now, she's got a ton of presents under the tree, and um, everybody has a lot of presents, and so she's decided to just scale back on that and be present this Christmas mm -hmm. instead of all these presents that she would be present with her family, the people in her life, um, her faith, and um, that really hit me, you know? 
That is, give give the gift of yourself instead of objects. Uh huh. Right. Yeah, I'm really just focused on being present for people. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's a big. And then expectations is such a a big thing. You know, this right. time. Right. You know, we're going to have that hallmark like Christmas, everybody around the table and. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Yeah, if you have certain expectations, those expectations aren't met, then that can be a stressor in your life. Yeah. And I was out with some friends last night, and um, they were asking me, well, are you done shopping? And, and pretty much I, I'm done shopping. Mm -hmm. But the reason I started this about five years ago, we started this, um, is we give a budget to our, our kids. This is your Christmas budget. And so they can order what they want. And the present is sent to the house. All I have to do is wrap it. They've forgotten because they do it on Cyber Monday, so they can get <laughs> twice as much, uh, you know, for their money they budgeted. And they've forgotten what they got, and it's it's worked out really well. And it's taken a lot of stress off of me. So um, the next thing is get your sleep. When we come back, more on the tips for a healthy holiday season. You can win a free 60-minute massage in a relaxing spa at the Prather Practice. Each month, we have a drawing to give away a free massage to one of our lucky Facebook and Twitter fans. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. This is The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. <laughs> the Voice of Health wellness tip with Dr. Robert Prather of the Prather Practice. Dr. Prather, there was a major study by an insurance company that focused on the health care model you use in your office. What were the results of that study? It, it actually was quite a seismic mm -hmm. finding. Uh, I like that term. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois. Uh, it's a Chicago-based health maintenance organization. The group has 600,000 enrolled members. So they took about 10,000 of those mm -hmm. and put them in with chiropractors who are trained in the structure function model. Mm -hmm. Now, not all chiropractors are trained in the structure function model. These gentlemen uh, actually got uh, the same type of training that I had. Okay. And they were the primary care physicians. After five years, they had startling results. Mm -hmm. They had a reduction of 60.2 percent in hospital admissions. Wow. They had 59 percent reduction in hospital days. Mm -hmm. They had a 62 percent reduction in outpatient surgeries and procedures and a remarkable 85 percent reduction in pharmaceutical costs. Wow. This resulted in a total savings in the first five years of 40% over all the other primary care physicians. 40%. 40% reduction. If you can imagine that we could reduce our health care costs across the board by 40%. And get those kind of results. And uh, there were 80% less reactions. There was a, a reduction in lawsuits. Mm -hmm. there, was, there was a reduction in everything. Plus, the people were much, much healthier and much more satisfied. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing is that the specialists, the cardiologists, the oncologist, uh, the gastroenterologist, all the specialists, uh, as they, they were asked to rate the difference in the two different models, mm -hmm. they gave the structure function model as the primary care mm -hmm. coming in a 96% satisfaction rating, mm -hmm. and they gave the disease model as primary care, a 40%. The results are, are indisputable. Schedule your appointment at the Prather Practice, 317-848-8048. That's 317-848-8048. Or learn more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. The Prather Practice, restoring hope. You're listening to The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, the most comprehensive wellness center in the Midwest. 
Well, today we're talking about tips for a healthy holiday season. And we've talked about how important it is um, washing hands to prevent the spread of germs and bundling up and managing stress. Um, let's talk about sleep. Mm. Sleep is very important. A very important aspect. And one of the things, of course, is there's an awful lot going on. There's parties, all that type of thing. Mm-hmm. But making sure during this time that you get your, uh, you know, normal sleep. And then also trying to get into a sleep rhythm, a circadian rhythm, you know, once your body gets kind of used to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, instead of staying up all night and say that you'll make it up in the morning that, you know, you don't day, make it up. Yeah. You don't really make it up. So making sure that you got your sleep really has a huge effect on your health and well-being, on your immune system, mm-hmm. and whether you get sick or not. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's one of the things that we see quite a bit with uh, patients and everyone that we know, that, you know, if all of a sudden you're going through and you're not getting your normal sleep, then uh, all of a sudden you're going to get sick. Mm-hmm. So really keeping up your, your strength, one, you're trying to avoid getting an exposure to infections, which is real good, but also keeping up your uh, own immunity is also the other aspect of that, and sleep is absolutely critical for that. Yeah, and it's important. People are having a hard time. There are people having a hard time sleeping. Sure. And I know we offer here at the Prather Practice uh, different supplementation that can help. Yeah, and and you don't have to go pharmaceutical. There's a, a ton of different products. Uh, actually more products naturally that can cut down, uh, you know, that can help with sleep. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so that, you know, you don't have to go pharmaceutical to mm-hmm. get your get your sleep in. Mm-hmm. And we have a very, very high success rate and with absolutely no risk. Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't naturally, and you don't become dependent upon it either. Yeah, I mean, when you can get a good night's sleep, you have less pain. Sure. Um, so. Sleep. And one of the things that people... You know, the more tired you are, the more exhausted you are. Oftentimes, that's the times where you can't sleep. Mm-hmm. Y- you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So if you get yourself completely worn out, then you can all of a sudden get yourself into a cycle of sleeplessness that can become a chronic type of thing. So nipping it in the bud, not getting yourself too exhausted, keeping up on your regular sleep is all very, very important aspects. Yeah, and I'm, I'm the type, and you've been really good for me, you know, I was not a napper or, um, you know, the more productive you can do, the sure. more successful. This, you know, inner voice saying right. that. And, you know, you taught me to slow down. Yeah, one thing that you were doing was say, well, I could be, I could get a lot done at night. Yeah. And that was not working out well at mm-hmm. all. It was pretty much wearing you out. And yeah. So we got that switched around. and now I don't get on the computer after a certain time. Sure. Um, matter of fact, we don't talk business after 8 uh-huh. o'clock. 8, 8 p.m. Right. Right. All night. And if one of us starts, we we stop the other. Correct. Look at the time. It's after 8. <laughs> and never talk about money after 8 either. No, absolutely. <laughs> um, number five is don't drink and drive or let others drink and drive. That's where the Uber comes in. Ubers, yeah, we'll put a nice Thank plug you. in for that. Yeah. Uh, y- yes, do not get behind the wheel, and don't let others get behind the wheel. Mm-hmm. You know, make a make a plan beforehand. Right. Uh, one of the things that uh, when I was in college, I was very popular because I actually didn't drink, mm-hmm. and uh, the uh, everybody wanted me to go along with them to the bars you or parties. You were the designated driver. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, you know. And they you were always, Uber before Uber. Oh, that's right. I was Uber <laughs> before there was Uber. Did you get paid? Uh, the, yeah, they, they paid for all my, you know, all the, exp- you know, the whole cost. The non-alcoholic drinks. Right, non-alcoholic <laughs> cover charge. Gas. Oh, yeah, they were more than happy. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that funny? You were popular because you didn't drink. <laughs> right. Oh, I was very popular. you got to share that with kids these days. Right. <laughs> Also, does does alcohol decrease your immune system? It does, mm-hmm. yeah. Now, what they find is that people who overdrink, of course, uh, live longer. I mean, li- uh, die, <laughs> die younger. So if they overdrink, of course, you know, it's going to cause a lot of problems. But a little bit of alcohol, mm-hmm. you know, seems to be probably the best. Everything in, in moderation. Right, right. Uh, number six is fasten seatbelts while driving or riding in vehicle. Very important safety. 
Very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, vehicle safety, I mean, that's one of the, the big killers this time of year. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you fasten up. Uh, you never know when something's going to happen. And it does give you a much better chance of survival if you do have your seatbelt on. That's why that's very important. Uh, because you might be a very good driver, but you don't know if that person that's coming uh, towards you uh, is has been uh, well. If they're over coming imbibing. towards you, <laughs> well, I meant you know coming on the opposite side. Yeah, if they're over in your lane coming towards you, hmm. Fasten your seat. This belt. May, yeah, yeah, fasten your seatbelt. Breathe deep and relax. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, and I I know uh, we have a little grandson, and they're talking about those um their their coats their winter coats mm. not to put them in their car seats with those winter coats on right um because they can slide right off out of them right. you know right so that's tricky you're trying to keep them bundled right. um, keep them but warm yet but safe yet. but yeah. there are some coats now out that you can put the seat belt uh on the inner side of the coat mm. um so and we didn't realize our little guy had that kind of coat till recently so um very important number seven be smoke free yes yeah is that secondary smoke also A secondary smoke also mm -hmm. you know when you when someone is smoking around you uh you get uh 60 percent of everything that they are smoking mm. so 60 percent 60 percent wow so it's almost like you're smoking with them so uh, that's why it's been very important to be courteous. That's why the rules of different designated smoking areas is so important mm -hmm. that you don't, uh, you know, don't add to other people's. You know, if you choose to smoke and have the injury that's associated with that, uh, that is your decision. But right. it is it shouldn't be someone else's, you know, problem too. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you can quit smoking, uh, maybe the holidays aren't the best time. <laughs> but you should be very considerate of others. Mm -hmm. But do not smoke if you possibly And we offer a smoking sensation program here. We do. Yeah. Uh, very successful. Mm-hmm. We use some auricular therapy. Um, and so if you get to a point, but you have to choose to want to quit. And cigarette smoke, it, uh, cigarettes have been designed to be addictive. Mm -hmm. They they really worked on that, which is should be, well, actually they did rule well, it wasn't uh, a, a good thing to do. That's why the, the uh, tobacco companies had to pay out so much in fines. Mm -hmm. But they still didn't change it. It's just as addictive as it, as it was. Right. There's hardly any tobacco in it anymore. Yeah, 2% right? tobacco. And a lot of... Uh, terrible things in it yes mm -hmm. and it was all put together to make it as addictive as possible so mm. this is you know cigarette companies are not your friends mm -hmm. right um was really proud of cvs when they pulled out you know all the the cigarettes at sure because you can make an awful lot of money from that mm -hmm. yeah yeah well let's talk about health what should we focus on on our health um and, and prevention well, right now. right now, of course, this is the end of the year. And one of the things is, you know, most people have already met their deductible. Mm -hmm. Now's a good time to make sure that you've got all your yearly annual exams. Mm -hmm. I know one thing that we're checking with our Medicare people, make sure that they had their yearly physical, Medicare physical. Mm -hmm. And um, that's something that, uh, that they encourage that that be done. So we are letting them know. And uh, that's something, you know, so if you have anything that you, normal types of checks, uh, pap smear, uh, breast exam, mm -hmm. uh, colonoscopy, all those different types of things, your heart exams, and now's actually a good time to get it in this year. Blood uh, work. Blood mm -hmm. work before everything's all done. So we're encouraging our patients too, and we encourage everyone to get with their doctors and see what... Uh, uh, is should be done. So ask mm -hmm. your doctor what what exams am I missing, and get those done before the end of the year. That would be a great idea. Yeah. Yesterday I was out and ran into a patient, and he almost seemed guilty uh, when he saw me. Like I need to get in for my blood work, you know, by the end of the year. And sure, <laughs> sure. I and, need and to make an appointment. And yeah, and, and make him feel real guilty. That's what I always <laughs> I do. I always say, you, you sinner. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hang your head in shame. <laughs> Um, so get exams and screenings important, especially you know if you've reached your deductible. Well, I mean important. you should anyway, but right. yeah. you know most of the time those are uh, the ones that are required are free, but you should get those in on an annual basis. And some insurances take that in consideration and will reduce your rates because you did that. Right. Uh, there are rewards mm-hmm. if you check. So let's talk about um, treatments here at the Prather practice treatments that improve, improve your health. Sure. Uh, of course, getting all those different types of things, we mentioned a few things. Mm-hmm. Uh, massages uh, reduce stress. Uh, acupuncture uh, reduces stress quite a bit, boosts the immune system. Uh, chiropractic adjustments, mm-hmm. of course, has a, uh, you know, a big thing. Uh, this is the time of the year that uh, stress does knock out vertebrae. Mm-hmm. And getting that fixed up, which you can't do just from a massage. Massage is great for the soft tissue. Chiropractic is fantastic for the skeletal structure, and it always makes everything work better if you have that lined up. So getting your chiropractic adjustments uh, mm-hmm. is a very important type type of thing to do for your overall health and well-being. Uh, also, uh, you know, making sure that, uh, you know, if you are getting toxic or if you are getting sick, uh, seeking some uh, treatment. Uh, along those lines. Mm -hmm. Uh, One of the nice things is that whenever you're talking about uh, pharmaceuticals, there's always negative effects with that. Mm -hmm. But we have a, a, when most of our patients get the flu or a cold or something like that, one of the things is we have natural remedies that are extremely effective that don't have negative side effects. So you don't have to go pharmaceutical to get uh, treatments. Mm -hmm. There isn't any condition that can't be helped through a natural product that boosts yeah. the system, makes you healthier. Uh, whenever you do a pharmaceutical, pharmaceuticals are are listed as pharmaceuticals because they always have harmful side effects. Mm-hmm. So if you can get any type of a treatment without pharmaceuticals, that is absolutely the best way to go. Right. You know, pharmaceuticals are necessary at times, but you should always exhaust the other possibilities first. Mm-hmm. So seeking those types of treatments out, and uh, that's one thing that we provide. And uh, finding a good structure function office to provide those is, uh, is something that should everyone should have is a structure function doctor that brings the body back into homeostasis, and homeostasis balance is the definition of health. Mm-hmm. Good. We talked about give the gift of health. Important. And one of the nice things along those lines is we do offer, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, like uh, cards, things like that. Mm-hmm. that you, uh, re- gift gift certificates. cards, yes. Gift cards. <laughs> That's what I was trying to think of. I was hoping you were going to chime in and help me there for a little bit because <laughs> I kind of lost it there. That's all right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, gift cards are a great way of doing that. And uh, your children, your family, um one I know one husband every year, he comes in and buys a whole package. We we can sell massages in packages of six sure. for his wife, you know, uh, every year, um, oh. which is nice. Yeah. That's a really nice gift. Mm-hmm. And and then also give the gift of health to uh, wives. Usually tell their husbands how to stay healthy because mm-hmm. the husbands usually don't think about that. Right. So, you know, give the gift of uh, health to your husband and also to your kids. Mm-hmm. and make sure that they are taken care of, and, and that's a, an important thing to be thinking about, especially this time of year. Right. Okay, when we come back, more on tips for a healthy holiday season. Listen to the Voice of Health Radio on your smartphone or tablet on all of the top radio apps available. Tune in Radio, Stitcher, and iHeartRadio. You can find these apps and more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. This is The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. Laughter is the best medicine. My nephew brought home another book the other day just burns me up. Now they want a politically correct up Christmas story so they don't offend nobody and everybody everywhere can enjoy it. So this is a story formerly known as Twas the Night Before Christmas. It is now called Twas the Night Before a Non-Denominational Winter Holiday. It was the night before a non-denominational winter holiday 
went all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The neutral gift sacks were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that a non-specific holiday figure would soon be there. A special message from the DTS Weight Loss Center at the Prather Practice. Are you tired of making the same weight loss resolution only to end up right back where you started? Let the professionals at DTS Weight Loss Center take all the frustration out of dieting. Our nutritionists and wellness coaches know what works for every body type and can develop a plan specific to your needs throughout your medically supervised program. Make the change by visiting us online at DTSWeightLossCenter.com. Dedicate. Transform. Succeed. When you call the Prather Practice to schedule your appointment at our DTS Weight Loss Center, mention the Voice of Health radio show and you'll receive a free initial consultation plus a free body composition analysis. 317-848-8048. That's 317-848-8048. The DTS Weight Loss Center at the Prather Practice. Dedicate, transform, succeed. I'm Lisa Prather, and you're listening to The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, where we get to the root cause of your health issue. Today we're talking about tips for a healthy holiday season. And Dr. Prather, we were talking about how important, especially we're nearing the end of the year, many people have reached their deductibles. It's a good time to make sure to get your exams and screenings completed, even if you haven't reached your deductible. Mm -hmm. Good time. So uh, we're talking about the gift of health. Let's talk about an issue, um, practicing fire safety. Sure. This is the time where we have more, during the holidays, Mm -hmm. more house fires than any other time of the year. Mm -hmm. So something to be aware of, uh, you know, people think, oh, you know, no big deal, but, uh, you know, there's heaters that people put on. That's one of the big things. We have Christmas trees now Mm -hmm. uh, in our houses. Uh, There's fireplaces that we're, we're doing. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, fire safety right now is a very important type of thing. Uh, one of the things is outlets. You know, we have about 20 uh, Christmas <laughs> lights all attached to one uh-huh. outlet, and uh, there's a little spark. And so, you know, practice, practicing those, those intelligent types of things, mm-hmm. that you're not overloading a, an electrical wires, mm-hmm. that you're taking care of making sure that the Christmas tree is not flammable, <laughs> Uh, making sure that the fireplaces are safe mm-hmm. and making sure especially the biggest thing that kicks off uh, house fires is uh, is space heaters. space heaters yeah you know so making sure that if you've got a space heater mm-hmm. that you only have it on when you're watching it do not turn it on during the night yeah we have one in our closet because it just gets so cold in, in right. there. And just making sure that that is uh, is off if you're not in there mm-hmm. is a very important thing because those space heaters are the number one reason for fires to kick off. Mm-hmm. So uh, that would be one thing that I would really just, uh, if we can just help one person and one person keeps from uh, having a fire because of that, mm-hmm. then uh, the show is definitely worth it. Okay. How about preparing food safely? Yes. Uh, one of the things we talked about uh, last week was uh, some uh, food poisoning. Mm-hmm. Uh, and when you're talking about, like, chickens, uh, 33% of all chickens have food poisoning on them. Mm. You know, and uh, an easy thing to do is to, you know, you, you take the chicken, you wash it in the sink, and you've got all this water splattering around. Mm-hmm. One little droplet of that, if that gets mm-hmm. in with the lettuce, uh, that something that's not cooked, then uh, you have uh, food poison. Mm-hmm. You know that that just hits right then. So uh, make your turkeys, make your especially don't combine meat and uh, non cooked products together. Mm-hmm. So because you usually cook meat at a much higher temperature, you need to make sure that. Uh, you're following uh, the guidelines. Uh, I believe you have to have, uh, uh, if you've got a thermometer in there, the uh, it needs to hit at least 165. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. to kill the uh, in the bacteria, uh, food poisoning that's in there. So you need to reach at least 165 inside the uh, turkey or the chicken or mm-hmm. whatever you're cooking. And uh, that can be on any type of a meat, and that's the most common ways that that's spread. But it can also be from uh, handling of food. So your vegetables, make sure that they're washed thoroughly, Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, you're using some good sanitation with that. And then uh, just making sure that those cutting boards are cleaned on a regular basis. Right. Uh, You know, just the... Run through the dishwasher. Right. Dishwashers have been one of the major things that has cut down on the number of food poisonings. Mm. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, that has been one of the... uh, Great invention. One of the great inventions, just like uh, washing machines have cut down a lot of different types of infections, too, Mm -hmm. that was spread through clothing. And if you're like me, you wash your dishes before you put them in the dishwasher. (laughs) Right, and you usually use the dishwasher as a sanitation. Mm -hmm. You know, it it really does hit those temperatures where there's not a carryover of, of issues. Making sure that your refrigerator is cold enough. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, also, if you uh, freeze meat before you actually cook it, oftentimes that can cut down on the number of bacteria too. And then, uh, you know, for turkeys and chickens, you know, how you thaw them. Mm-hmm. You know, you should thaw them in the refrigerator or you should be thawing them in cold water and then uh, changing it uh, mm-hmm. every, uh, every couple hours. Mm-hmm. So you change the water as it's thawing. Mm-hmm. So, and you can look up on the Center of Disease Control uh, several different sites that can go through f- proper food handling. Mm-hmm. We don't have time to go through all of those different types of things. Yeah. But food handling for those who are preparing it, not spreading uh, infections, uh, there are uh, 75 million uh, food poisonings. <laughs> 75 each million. Year. That's yeah. it. Uh huh. So oh, that are reported. No, that that they that they know that that's kind of how, how oh, that's okay. going. So there's about seventy five million a year. So it's a very common type of thing, mm-hmm. the, and it is not any fun to uh, spend your holidays uh, cooped away in the uh, in the royal throne. <laughs> yeah, exactly, unless you want to get out of cooking. Well, it's still not worth it. <laughs> still not worth it. Oh. Um, well, let's talk about eating healthy during the holiday season. You know, it's very easy. Sure. Um, people are, are bringing us here at the office some wonderful... Um, sweets. Sweets. <laughs> yeah. A lot of them. Uh-huh. uh-huh. And if you eat and too many, it does lower your immune system. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let's talk about eating healthy this holiday season. Right, and one of the things that that people uh, need to remember is is really thinking about, you know, uh, is this a healthy way of eating? Of course, mm-hmm. you're going to indulge a little bit, uh, and if you are overindulging, uh, taking some vitamins, minerals along with that, because uh, you're probably whenever you take sugar, the reason sugar is so bad is th- is that it's empty calories, mm-hmm. and to process calories, you need a lot of vitamins and minerals. To uh, put that through the uh, through the ringer, to say, to turn it into energy for the body. Yeah. So when you take a lot of sugar, it depletes your body of of uh, uh, all the different vitamins: uh, vitamin D, vitamin A, uh, vitamin C, the B vitamins, uh, zinc, uh, manganese, all those different types of things that are necessary for the proper functioning of the body. And so when you have those empty calories. Uh, you know, you weaken the whole body and the immune system, and then you have uh, you you get sick much much easier. Mm-hmm. So, trying to think of what's healthy and mm-hmm. what's not, and try to be a little bit extra careful, especially if you indulge as we all do. Yeah, and maybe you know switching that to fruit or sure. Uh, and fruit is really a, a marvelous way. And if yeah, I know I'm going to increase my pomegranate. Intake. St- yep, my pomegranate intake. Well, we did a, um, a food allergy test just recently mm-hmm. to see what, pro- you know, what things were a- helping us and which things weren't. And that's an excellent type of a way to kind of uh, get things back up to par. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was very, very helpful. So let's talk about staying active. When you're talking about staying active, Dr. Prather, what are, what are you talking about? 
Uh, yeah, it's some good exercise. I mean, exercise, as I always like to say, uh, cures a, a world of, of sin. Mm-hmm. So if you exercise, it makes everything work better. So finding a good exercise routine, uh, we are coming up on the new year. Uh, actually start that maybe if you haven't been doing it beforehand. Mm-hmm. You know, reasonable, uh, some good walking, some uh, lifting weights, some uh, different types of activities. The more active you are within reason, mm-hmm. uh, the better your health is. It helps with the uh, insulin levels. It helps to make up for some of the uh, bad food that we might eat. Mm-hmm. Uh, it helps to clear out some of the alcohol that we shouldn't have been drinking. Uh, all the other things that we, uh, you know, have overindulged. Uh, exercise can really help out tremendously with those things. And I know a, a lot of people walk outside, and now it's it's very cold. You know, you can. I was at the mall yesterday exactly. and saw walkers. And they were they were moving. One of the things they they have a whole program on the Center of Disease Control mm-hmm. website on mall walkers. On mall walkers. Uh-huh. Yeah, on, on how a much program. benefit is uh-huh. they have a program for that. Mm-hmm. And uh, mall walking, you see a lot of interesting people. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's not too cold out there. You're not by yourself. You're not by of, yourself. Yeah. And you're not even spending money. That's right. <laughs> Unless you want to. All right. And <laughs> and you walk quickly past the cinnamon. <laughs> You know, you, that's oh, when, you, yeah. that's when you... You have to plug your nose. <laughs> right, that's right. <laughs> so, uh, watching out for those places, you, you might re- remap your mall walking <laughs> to kind of avoid those. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yes, the uh, mall walking is a uh, marvelous way, and then uh, it's also a great time of socialization, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. and there's a lot of community centers. I know uh, we have the Monon Center in, our, in Carmel, uh, that has an inside track, and I think mm-hmm. it's it's free actually for people in the community if they wanted and just to walk the track. But a lot of communities have centers like that um, where they can where they can do that. It's important. Yeah, and making that a part. I mean, we're all so busy, and having something along those lines uh, would be just a, a very very smart thing to do. And I have finally found, you know, being over fifty, it's been really You're hard. You're over fifty. <laughs> yeah. I know, it's surprising, huh? It is. <laughs> um, finding an exercise that wouldn't do me in. You know, like right. I still think I'm in my 20s and 30s somehow. Mentally I still, but my body can't e- exercise the same <laughs> yeah. way. But I finally um, found Pilates, and I've been using the Reformer. Um, mm. Put a plug here for Club Pilates. Um, been doing that and I have to schedule out which is really good for me and then if you miss you have a no show you have to pay ten dollars so those are the things I needed and have been really uh, committed to it and noticing the difference yeah they, they, they keep you committed there yeah <laughs> but there's you know I haven't um, there hasn't been any injury, you know, for me. It's It's been mm-hmm. really good for me and really working on on that core. Yeah, for f- those of us who are a little bit older, mm-hmm. uh, me included, uh, <laughs> avoiding injuries is one of the most important things. Right, right. Because oftentimes I sit there and still think I'm in my 20s and 30s. Right. As I start doing things and I figure out the next day that probably wasn't a good idea. Yeah, you do Tai Chi, and yeah, that Which happened. Is great too. Yeah, <laughs> I think yeah. you were sparring with a, a someone in their, yeah, 30 year old. <laughs> yeah, it didn't go well, let's put it that way. And <laughs> just kind of drop it, okay? <laughs> All right, let's talk about, you talked a little bit about <laughs> vitamin D levels, uh-huh. monitoring your vitamin D levels. Anything more that you want to say in that? Well, that's actually. One of the theories, because it's during the wintertime that flu really takes off, and there's a very strong theory uh, that they're trying to prove that the vitamin D and the uh, the flu taking off is one of the correlations. Mm-hmm. So vitamin D is a very important part of uh, uh, the immune system. Now, I don't recommend taking it unless you do a blood test, because you can get too much vitamin D. We had a, uh, a patient who came in who had just started out and it heard that vitamin D was important for the immune system during the holidays. And so was taking uh, 15,000 units a day. And her vitamin D level was uh, 250, 
which is way too high. 15,000 units. Yeah. Yeah, that was more so, the better. Yeah. So, you know, one of the things that we, as soon as we got that, we called them up, said, hey, you need to stop your vitamin D. You're at a toxic level. So, you know, I've had people come in and I said, you know, this is one at a time. We need to check your vitamin D. And they said, I don't need it checked because I'm taking it. I said, even more why right. you need to check your vitamin D. Right, because it's so, a fat soluble, right? Fat soluble, it can accumulate in the system and cause uh, liver damage and several other things. Mm-hmm. So it's important, again, homeostasis is the most important thing. Yeah. Not too much, not check. too little. Mm-hmm. You know, in everything, that's where we we're, where we really work at. Right. Another thing is don't be alone during the holiday season. Yes. Uh, you know, sometimes the worst thing is no one around. Mm-hmm. You know, find people. Uh, mm-hmm. If you don't have family, uh, things like that, and make friends, there's always people who are willing to, uh, you know, take you in. But uh, being alone uh, during the holidays uh, or any time really weakens the immune system. Mm-hmm. So being alone is, is you know, home alone mm-hmm. is not necessarily a good thing, even if your family is a little dysfunctional. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes dysfunctional <laughs> is better than nothing. All right. All right. And any other expert advice, Dr. Prather? Well, one thing I would say is say no to raw dough. (laughs) reason you say no to raw dough is because they got parasites in them. Yes. Don't eat it if you don't want worms. (laughs) All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Prather, for tips for a healthy holiday season. Um, My pleasure. Never miss an episode of The Voice of Health so that you can stay informed and empowered about your health. Get a podcast of our show automatically delivered to you every week by signing up for our show on iTunes. You can find that link on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. And don't forget, thevoiceofhealthradio.com has complete archives of all of our past episodes with an audio library of information to help you add more life to your years and more years to your life. This is The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. The Voice of Health Wellness Tip with Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice. Dr. Prather, what is diathermy? The way that we like to uh, describe it to people is it's a a large coiled magnet that produces a a shortwave beam that goes into the body. The main thing that uh, we like it is increasing circulation. The most common thing that we use it for is... Uh, drainage of the ears, otitis media, mm-hmm. uh, the ear, the ear pain, the ear infections. For any mom who's been up with a little one screaming the entire night, uh, knows how wonderful it would be to get that under control. <laughs> yeah, I think about uh, one little guy who's just starting to walk, and he had a terrible ear infection. The antibiotics, you know, hadn't really kicked in or done anything at that point. They had heard that uh, we do take care of otitis media and. Uh, that that you know that we could make a pretty quick cure and uh, the uh, husband was a little bit skeptical but Mm -hmm. they both came in because mom had been up all night and didn't want to drive in (laughs) (laughs) and she looked like help me Uh and the little guy was just you know thrashing and uh, in so much pain so we brought him in and 15 minutes on the diathermy he was laughing and you know looking around and waving at everybody and and they just kind of looked at me like, what the heck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> How did this occur? Uh-huh. And we find that 15 minutes on the diathermy will just take away the pain, mm-hmm. just like that. So it's something that uh, is very easy to do, safe, uh, very effective. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, people just uh, are amazed by the changes that occur in their sinuses and those eustachian tubes and in those ears. And, and moms can bring in, get their child done, and, and they're good. Yeah. That child's not continually going on antibiotic after antibiotic, destroying their gut and right. their Weakening the immune, immune system. system. Uh, you can cause perma- too many antibiotic treatments can cause permanent damage to the uh, immune system uh, much better way of treatment is uh, the diathermy unit. Mm -hmm. Anyone with any type of ear problems, uh, uh, you know, ear infection, otitis media, going up into the sinuses and vertigo, uh, also tinnitus. Extremely important for tinnitus. Uh So any of our patients with tinnitus, uh, the recommendations are always to have diathermy because the diathermy does make an absolutely incredible difference with the tinnitus and 
uh, getting that under control. Schedule your appointment at the Prather Practice, 317-848-8048. That's 317-848-8048. Or learn more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. The Prather Practice, restoring hope. Merry, Merry Christmas, baby. Sure did treat me nice. You're listening to The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, where our mission is restoring hope to our patients. Well, I have Geralee here. Welcome, Geralee. Hi. And um, Geralee would like to share her experience here at The Prather Practice, and we appreciate that. I think when our patients share their stories and their health journeys, it really helps somebody out there that could be in the same boat. Yes. So, Geralee, what brought you first? into the Prather practice? I was tired all the time. Mm-hmm. Someone to sleep all the time. Didn't have any energy. Was that was something wondering. you were dealing with for a while? Uh, yeah, it's been oh, a little while. Mm-hmm. And what got you to the point to finally come in? Because I know you, you drive a distance to get here. Yes. Um, well, I can't take statin drugs, so I knew I had to do something else, find something else that would work for me. Okay. So you came in. You've been coming in for five months yes. now. And what was that first day, that initial experience like? Oh, it was nice. They treated me nice, and I, they took blood uh, samples and they found out what was causing it mm-hmm. part of my problem but uh, yeah so you got some diagnostics yes. and the blood works very thorough isn't it yes it is yes. <laughs> you might not want I didn't all those realize <laughs> all those vials of blood no <laughs> <laughs> there's a reason for it yes so what did you find out I found out that I had diabetes, type 2, and that I had kidney stones. Mm. Is that the first time you had found out those things? Yes. Yes, it was. So what has been your your treatment experience since then? Good. I feel a lot better. I'm not as tired. I have more energy and can do more things. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. That's... You know, you came in very fatigued. Yes. Um, What have you found that you've had more energy for? For about everything I do. (laughs) Life? (laughs) Getting out of bed. (laughs) Were you even having trouble getting out of bed? Yes. Wow. And how long did that fatigue go on? Oh, it was about a year. Mm -hmm. And I decided I had to do something. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't go that way anymore. So how has your life changed? Uh, I'm happier. I do more. I go mm-hmm. more. That's and great. I enjoy life more. So your treatment, what kind of services have you received? I know you got the diagnostics. Then what? Did you get supplementation? Yes, I had supplements set to help me mm-hmm. through this and uh, taking care of the diabetes part, mm-hmm. hopefully, in time. And uh, the uh, kidney stones. Mm-hmm. Are your kidney stones gone now? Uh, almost. 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 Uh huh. You're working on that. Yes. Yeah, that's not fun. No. Very painful. <laughs> <You> painful. <laughs> yes. And um, the di- uh, diabetes. You're working on that through yes. uh, supplementation. Supplements and uh, diet, mm-hmm. of course. But yeah. And like you said, you couldn't take a statin. Right. Right. No. You needed an alternative. Yes. And how has this been a good alternative for you? It doesn't make me sick. I don't end up in an emergency room. <laughs> so. Had you been on stand yes. and that's what happened? Yes, twice. Wow. So now you can go about it a different way. Yes. Uh, for you. Mm-hmm. Um, has our staff treated you well? Yes, very well. <laughs> yes, they are very nice. They're great, aren't they? Yes, they are. So someone listening out there that might, like you, couldn't take a statin, you know, put you in the ER room a couple times, or 
would prefer more of a structure function model. Um, what what would you say to them? How, what would you encourage them to do? Because someone referred you here, yes. correct? Yes. I would refer them to come here to pay through Wellness Center. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would. Okay. It is very good. Well, thank you, Geraldine. Thank you for sharing your testimony. So happy that you're feeling better. Yes. And more energy. What What's something that you've done that you didn't do a year ago because you were so tired? Put out a garden. You put out a garden? <laughs> yes. That's great. Yes. You're going to bring us some tomatoes? Um, if I have any. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Geraldine, for your story. The Prather Practice is located at 8902 North Meridian Street on the north side of Indianapolis, just south of the I-465 loop. If we can help you to achieve better health, we'd love to hear from you. Connect with our office at 317-848-8048. That's 317-848-8048. Join us again here next week or anytime on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. For The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. Are you frustrated by not getting to the root cause of your health issue? Are you tired of not knowing why you're always fatigued? Are you wanting to say no to toxic drugs? Have you lost hope? Are you just tired of being sick and tired? At the Prather Practice, we want you to know that we have the answers for you. We offer the alternative to the disease care model. We are the drug-free model to health and wellness. At the Prather Practice, we look for the underlying cause of your health problem and not just the symptomatology. Through thorough diagnostics, we find your individual health blueprint for your treatment. Where the disease care model is symptom-based, the structure function model we practice gets to the root of your health issue. The Prather Practice is the most comprehensive wellness center in the Midwest. Our integrated practice offers you the most treatment options to restore your health and your hope. Learn more about the Prather Practice by calling 317-848-8048 or learn more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com.